and he is one back first. Put your thing down so they see. Did you know there is? Did you know there are about eleven million cows in America? They will make about five fifty-seven five billion gallons of milk in a year. What kind of what kind of bear doesn't have any teeth? What kind of bear doesn't have any teeth? A gummy bear. <laughs> A gummy bear. Ha ha ha. If they want to hear more jokes, Addie, where 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 maybe they can hear more jokes? Um, I'm gonna um the my um highlights magazine suggested putting up a joke stand somewhere, cut and I'm um, giving jokes out. So when are you gonna do that? Um, at church. All at right. Communion. All right. Very good. Yes. You gonna say good morning? You just run away. Good morning. Looks like we're a little crooked this morning. Hey friends, good to see you all. Hope that you're doing well. Um, though, um, tomorrow, if it is snowing or blowing or just gross outside, just stay home. We won't do walk-up communion. We won't do uh, the small group. We'll just, or small group worship. We'll just do, uh, everybody stay home. Uh, it's a pandemic. We don't need to go out anyways. Uh, so worship online if it's snowing. Um, uh, no walk-up communion, so just stay home. And then, uh, let's see, uh, and then Zoom digital coffee hour. So I want everybody then to check in on Zoom. The link is in your hopeful happenings. I was emailed yesterday. It's uh, You can find it also on the website. So stay home, worship together, uh, and then uh, see you on Zoom at 11. Grab some coffee, stay in your PJs. And if it's not snowing, I guess, you know, head on out and I'll be there. Uh, today, dwelling in God's Word, Psalm 50. So if you have uh, Psalm 50, I've got my, my large print because I gave my small print that I had my home copy to uh, Karen Schwartz. Uh, so enjoy it, Karen. Zoom, but I am cooking. Yeah, that's right, Zoom for a bit and then cooking. Good morning, Gretchen. Good morning, Sherry. Good to see everyone. Uh, Psalm 50, we're going to read a couple verses together. So if you have it there, uh, go ahead and read along together. If not, here, just listen in devotion as we spend a little time in God's Word today. The Mighty One, God, the Lord, speaks and summons the earth from the rising of the sun to its setting. Out of Zion, the perfection of beauty, God shines forth. Our God comes and does not keep silence. Before Him is a devouring fire and a mighty tempest all around Him. He calls to the heavens above and to the earth, that he may judge his people. Gather to me my faithful ones who made a covenant with me by sacrifice. The heavens declare his righteousness, for God himself is judge. God is not silent is the title of our devotion this morning, inviting our focus to that third verse, our God comes and does not keep silence. Share a devotion here together on this Saturday. In his book, Discipleship, 20th century pastor and theologian Dietrich Bonhoeffer makes a startling claim. Modern Christians have every bit as much access to Christ's teaching as did his first disciples. This claim troubled many of my seminary classmates, who had assumed that the twelve disciples had some sort of special access to Christ's teaching. Martin Luther makes the same claim as Bonhoeffer. Our access to Jesus' teaching in the Bible is every bit as good as what those who encountered Jesus in the flesh had. Bonhoeffer and Luther realized the important reality of the power of the living word of Scripture. There is no difference between the experience of hearing Jesus firsthand and the experience of reading one's Bible or hearing the preached word. In the words of the psalmist, our God does not keep silence. God is still speaking to us today, just as powerfully as ever before. I hear the theme of our small group worship series, uh, Come and See Jesus, through these various lenses of Scripture as we continue to encounter the living God uh, for us today along the journey as we share it together, um, discerning the way of Jesus uh, here along the journey. Uh, good morning, Marge. Uh, Nikki, Vivian, Adi, good to see you all. 
Amen and amen, Karen. Be invited to pray this day as it unfolds before you for theologians and biblical scholars, those who help us encounter the living word of God faithfully together, and invite you to pray with me using these words from Christ in our home. God, open our ears and our hearts to your voice today. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, amen. And a good place to share where you hear God's voice is tomorrow at Digital Fellowship Coffee Hour on Zoom. Uh, we'll make sure that the link is here uh, on Facebook as we worship together na at 9 o'clock tomorrow. And again, if there's any snow out and about, uh, please stay home. It's going to be cold as well. So God bless you, my friends, and we'll look forward to continuing to share this journey dwelling in God's Word together.